started in 1849 by John Tone. He came from New York when the discovery of gold was shouted around the world. But he found it was better to pack supplies to the miners than it was to go into the mountains and dig for himself. As small oaks grew until they towered over the Calaveras River beside Tone's property, the farm grew also. It grew into a ranch, the Jack Tone Ranch. Now it is known up and down the state as one of the oldest properties to still be in the hands of the original family. Children read about it in school. Historical societies proudly point to it as a living monument of the early days of California. But now the ranch is basking in a new reputation, a reputation that goes far beyond neighboring Stockton and Sacramento and past the borders of California. It's known around the world. It really started when Marge Tone bought a pony for her children and put it under the Christmas tree one year. She felt that a ranch should have horses. And little did she know that she would soon find an Arabian colt, just seven months old, a colt that would totally change the Jack Tone Ranch. She had seen the colt, a little gangly and out of shape, but she saw much more than others did, and soon husband Jack bought the 10-month-old colt for Marge's birthday, this colt named Fadjur. She also found a mare she liked, and in that horse, called Saki, she thought she detected some traits that would be a nice addition to Fadjur. Again, she had no idea how her life would be changing. But the trio, Fadjur, Saki, and Marge Tone, have now become world famous. The two horses have produced 14 offspring together, and Fadjur has sired more than 700 horses that are stamped with his head, his lines, and his beauty. At the same time, Marge Tone and her family turned the Jack Tone Ranch into one of the finest Arabian horse ranches in the world. One of the secrets of her success is her loving care for all the horses on the ranch. And that certainly extends to the foaling operation. You can take a beautiful, expensive mare and just make one mistake with her and she would go out of breeding so she wouldn't produce anymore. And the foal itself, it's very important to be there and doctor the navel the second that the cord breaks. It's important to watch that the breathing is all right on the baby when it's dropped. Not only do I deliver my own foals if people wants me to, deli to deliver theirs. In fact, our veterinarian brought one of his mares over to foal here one time. He says they get better supervision than I can give them at home. Every foal is a, it's a new thrill. It's like opening Christmas packages. Here's all these things you've planned and put together and now you're gonna see the results and it's, it's wonderful. Marge Tone has never formally studied the care and feeding of horses. She takes care of her horses and those that are sent to the ranch for breeding through intuition. I always feed by the, uh, the look of the horse and uh, I oversee all the graining myself and, and the hang. I make sure that the, they, they follow my directions all the time. I'm checking up to see how much they're feeding each horse. And uh, between the family, we keep all the graining among ourselves. Uh, the girls and I do all the, the graining. Another of the important reasons why the Jack Tone Ranch has such an envious reputation in the Arabian horse world is due to the meticulous training given here. Even at uh, two or three days, we'll go out and pet it and talk to it and put our hands on its feet. But actually, the training doesn't start until they're between six months and a year, we start lunging them. <laughs> It's always fun for the children as well as the horses. And we keep it that way. We never use a whip, we never manhandle them or, or yank them. And once they're corrected when they're, they do something wrong, but they know it. They're like a child. They know when they're corrected. But uh, I never, never allow any mistreatment. 
Marge Cohn and her five daughters are the mainstay of the force operation, while the menfolk, some of them fifth-generation farmers, continue to work the land. More than 20 family members gathered this day to watch Fadger's descendants, and later, Fadger himself. The main thing we're trying to preserve in the Arabian horse is, is the beauty. We've always known that Fajir is a beautiful horse, but a buyer from Europe recently commented on his tremendous strength of rear end and, and strong hind legs, and the strength in his performance horses, which we've kind of taken for granted. Naturally, everyone wants a, a good horse, a good, good legs, and that a good horse can have, but an Arabian horse is the only one that can have that beautiful, beautiful head, and we wanted to preserve that look and type and disposition. Upstairs in the main old barn is the trophy room where current and historical awards presented to the Jack Tone Ranch and their horses are kept. A huge frame diploma hangs on the wall. It was awarded to John H. Tone for the best one-year stallion at the San Joaquin Valley Agricultural Society Fair held in Stockton. That was back in 1871. Of course, Fadjur is responsible for many of the trophies and ribbons here. But even though the Tone family is proud of these ribbons and trophies, they don't hoard them. You see, when someone buys a horse from the Tone Ranch, the ribbons and trophies that that horse has won goes along with the horse. We always give the ribbons and the trophies that the horse has won. We feel that they belong to that horse and they should go with it. Jackie has it arranged so she can pick out each horse and, and knows where each horse's uh, trophies and ribbons and she in just a short time can find it and, and, uh, and give it to him. Even if we know that there's no chance of, of uh, selling, we still are so proud of what we're doing that we enjoy bringing them out and showing it. make a horse act that way they have to feel it and and these are extremely um, intelligent horses and they understand that you're enjoying this and they just enjoy showing off and that it's born in them it's it's just something that the minute they stand up and look around you can just see they're they're extremely proud and uh, and we encourage it thing you look for when you're looking at an Arabian is that beautiful head and we want to preserve more of that. Fajr excels in it in the big beautiful eyes and the little muzzle and the beautiful tear bones and we thought that by breeding Fajr back to his own daughters we would be concentrating on it more and we wish now that we had been doing it all the time.
The main thing is a, is a pleasure horse. They're a great family horse. The children can train them and ride them and enjoy them. And many people enjoy riding in the mountains or just having fun with their horse. And they're a top endurance horse if you want to compete in open competition. In the shows, the people enjoy riding them mainly as English, Western, and park horses. Everything that we uh, needed, he's bought for us. And he's given us trips all over the world. And the children have, uh, because of him, have a higher education because they get to see the, the, the different parts of the country, because they go to the show and see all over the place. I think that uh, all over the world he's, uh, he's well known and uh, he, he would be one of the top stallions. He has the beautiful tear bones that come uh, down from their face, they, the, the shape of the face, the short head and the low set eyes. He has so much fire and yet he is the kindest, gentlest horse I've ever seen. Part of his his uh, his blood is to be show off and, and uh, love love the the clapping and, and all of that. And he really enjoys it. Oh, he does. Yes, and and he'll go around the show ring. He would look up in the stand, and if he sees one hand out there that's not clapping, he'll turn on a little more until it claps. <laughs> He's a real ham. Every time I see him out, I don't care if I see him out two or three times a day. It's a thrill to see him come out and know that I just don't know how I was the lucky one to be chosen to have him because he is just something different. He's everything that I've ever wanted in him.
delicious crime. Five kids in